Hey everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. Today we have a video. It's snowing outside. We are going to show you how to use a high-powered blower to blow your German Angora rabbits or any Angora rabbit. And we are wearing black on purpose today so because I want you to be able to see the amount of dander that comes off of an Angora. So let's go grab a bunny and get started. We're going to be trimming her right after this. So you're going to be able to see her get her coat blown. She's not a big fan of the blower, but she will tolerate it. So let's turn it on. So we put a towel down and you can see the difference. This is pure dander. Ugh. There's fluff and dander everywhere. We're doing a shearing with scissors today. We did the high powered blowing earlier and we have Sansa with us today. Sansa is a great little rabbit. She's a female born July 22nd, 2017. This is her first time shearing. She has so much wool for just a little thing. Um, she's not even six months old and uh, she has absolutely beautiful, beautiful wool. So we have our scissors with us. We brushed her earlier after we got done with the high powered blowing. And she's content just sitting here because she's been handled. Um, it's also something that we breed for. We want them to be kind rabbits. So you're going to take your scissors and so her skin goes level. We don't want to trim level. We want a slight tilt with our scissors. Because we don't want to cut her skin. And there we go. One little slice. Amazing. Beautiful long wool. And we just set it aside and we keep going. We're going to demonstrate a little bit of a hold, a few different holds that we use when we trim our rabbits. So we finished trimming Sansa up. It took us about an hour just to hold her ribs, her ears. We tip her over and we just gently squeeze her, um, we gently squeeze her Plus. ears between our legs and we have full access to her belly when she's down like this. An easy way to do the bib is simply gently press her paws down. So then you trim, trim, trim. So here's an example. You, you use the angle, you trim. And you can get all of this bib doing it that way um, and gently hold your shears. So then, oh, see we have a little long spot right here. Now you gently move your rabbit around. You don't want to make uh, lots of big movements. So when you have her like this, you can easily get into the legs. You can easily put her paws up to get her belly. So this is another hold you can do. 
when you want to get their um, when you want to get their hind legs, just gently tuck them under your arm. So you notice her. You know that's our phone ringing. You notice her back arms are right here, and I'm not I'm not really pinching with my elbow. I'm just holding her very gently, and this is how you can get the back legs. And you can just move her little legs around. You can trim all of her little areas. And that's just an easy way. You can kind of flip her to the side if you want to trim her. I left a lot of wool on her feet because it was, uh, it was 10 degrees out last night. So it was pretty chilly. She's going to need her little, um, she's going to need a little pajamas on. I don't trim the bottom of her feet. This is something that, uh, if you notice, she has excellent, excellent feet. This is something where we don't have, we don't have sore hocks. We don't want sore hocks. Uh, sore hocks are when they get sores from the wire on their feet. And so what we do is we, we leave all this on here. Some people trim this. Don't trim it. Just leave it because this keeps their nice, uh, their feet nice, keeps them padded, keeps them all really good. And we're going to flip her gently over. She flips herself over. All right. We have some clothes. So she has a little pair of pajamas. I have to find a sweater. We have a sweater for her. But right now we're just gonna put some pajamas on her. She's never worn clothes before. So we're gonna start with her head and simply get it on over her head, over her ears. Her first little paw we're gonna put in. It's almost like dressing a little baby. Cause it's, uh, it's pretty essential when it's chilly out, after your rabbit has been shorn, even if it's not chilly out, you want to put some clothes on your rabbit because the change in temperature from having their wool on, which is seven times warmer than sheep's wool, to no wool because you've shorn it off, you've clipped it off, it's a massive change for their body and for the rabbit. So they actually can get very sick. They can die if you do not um, properly monitor and manage their body temperature after a shearing. And so one example is by putting uh, a little jacket on or some PJs. We have some PJs right now. You can put a sweater on. Uh, this is her little tail. It's been trimmed up. And you notice there's fluff all over me. So I even have it in my eyelashes. <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching our video on shearing nabbits. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully showing you a few different holds was a good thing.